hey everyone welcome to my channel once again i am ere and in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a monthly budget planner so this is going to be a digital product that you are going to create for free using canva and you're going to list it on Etsy. But if you have your own online store where you can sell digital products, you can also do that. But if you are a beginner and you have no idea where to start, you can only use Etsy in the beginning just to learn how this business works. So the first thing that you need is Canva. So for you to access Canva, just go down below the description box and click on the Canva link. It's going to take you right back here and then that's where you sign up. You can sign up for free or you can sign up with the pro version but there's also the free version so today we're only going to use the free version so you can still make a product a good looking product that sells and using free methods so you don't really need pro now but you're going to see where you need pro so if you feel like you can upgrade to pro later you get 30 day free trial when you click that link so that's how you access canva so when you create a monthly budget planner we have to think about is this product going to sell the colors that i'm going to put on my planner are they attractive enough for people to click on my listing is the things that i have put inside my planner are they needed because i do know that uh, when we are planning our budget we do get our bank statements which can help us to track but before time i really need to understand where my money is going i have to plan ahead of time that next month i'm going to buy this i'm going to buy this and this is the income that i'm going to receive so this helps everybody who receives funds in their bank account to know where each and every cent that they are receiving where it is going so this is what we are going to create for our customers to help them track their funds so the first thing that we need to do is to click here on create a design and we are going to create we're going to choose the type of document that we want so there are many options but today we're going to use only the a4 document but if you are creating something else you can just choose anything that you want here and if it's not available here on the first prompt you just scroll until you see what you're looking for for. if it's not there you can still search and also you can customize the size of the template that you want so i'm going to click on the a4 document because that's what we're going to be creating today and this is our template so it's very blank so i have already clicked on text but let me start from the beginning what we have here is the design so this is if when you were searching from the home screen you said i am looking maybe to create an ig post so there are going to be suggestions here of some of the ig posts or how you can do those so those are the designs or templates now the second thing over here is the elements so this is where most of graphic designing happens this is where you're going to have your shapes your lines your flowers everything that you can think of the graphics the photos everything that's also here you can also get it from the elements and the uploads is what you're going to be uploading for example let's say you want to sell or uh, you want to create your own wedding invitation card and you have a, a picture of you and your spouse and you want to include that in your invitation card so you can just upload those those images over here and you can choose whether you are uploading an image a video or an audio so that's what you do over here and now we move to text on the text this is where you do most of your writing so you can choose the the size of font the text color and also the font that you're using and the projects this is what you previously worked on for example today we're going to work on this monthly budget planner so now when we are done if you need it you just create you just click on the projects or you go back to canva on the home page you will get your project but if you want to do it quickly you just click over here and the photos these are stock photos that canva have for you so it's just like you do have free version and pro version so the ones with pro versions they're going to get more options and maybe better images and there's, and there's also videos and on videos these are also 
stop video so let's say for example you're looking maybe for a person in a beach or a person standing on top of a mountain you just click on this and that's gonna just you just search for what you want so you're gonna see most of these things when uh, when i am doing them and also we do have the background when you want the background on this white color and we do have text to image this is on, on on the apps so on the apps if you are imagining an image but you cannot find it here on the photos you can ask canva to create that image for you you just have to you just have to type what you want if you're looking for a disney fairy you just type it over there and then it canva is going to create that image for you and we do have logos for your business if you want to have logos you just come over here so this is on apps the text to image is up is or you just come over here on apps that's when you're going to have access to this text to image and now we're done so the first thing that we're going to do is to come up with a text so i'm going to click on text and we're going to start with a heading so just to tell people what this is i have clicked on heading and it's going to appear here on the template so now i just type what this is so this is a monthly budget planner so that's what i'm going to type over here so now I'm going to try to drag it to where I want it to be. So I want it to be at the top. So I just come over here and drag it. So I just do like this. So when you see this sign, it means it's dragging. And I'm just, I just want this to be one line of words. So I can try to reduce the size. I just come here at the top where it says 58 and there's a font size. Just click on that. And let's say this is 58 now. I'm just reducing it maybe to 42 to see how it will look so with 42 it fits on one side it fits on one line so that's what i want and also the font i'm not happy with this font which is canva sans i'm gonna click the drop down arrow and then it's gonna take me to where i can choose the font that i want so these are pro as you can see this sort of this icon which looks almost like a crown so this is for pro but you still have many options as well with the free version these are the free version options so now i'm going to choose the free version which is anton so that's the, the font that i'm going for so we do have monthly budget planner now i really want to have this looking good so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to come over here to elements and choose maybe a block or a shape that i want this to be so you're going to see what i'm doing over here i'm going to click on this first line which is a square and now i will drag it to where i want it to be so it's going to come over here and then i'm going to try to do like this but i want to i'm trying to reduce it to the size that i want it to look so i'm gonna put it somewhere here so now it's looking good so let me try to increase the size of our template so that we can all see i'm gonna drag this and put it on top here so now it's not visible i just come over here to the three dots and click transparency i want it to be a little bit transparent like that and then another thing is the position i want it to be behind the letters now i'm going to choose the color of this shape i don't like it as purple so what i'm going to do is to come over here to colors so these are my own colors that you see over here that are, that are written calm earth these are my own so these are my own palettes so i also so for you to be able to do as many as possible you have to have pro but with the free version you can have only one and with five colors and then we do have default colors these are all default colors that if you want this block maybe to look yellow you just click over here but in this case i'm going to use one of my palettes which is for you to be able to do that let's say for example you choose this pink you're just going to come over here and click that pink and then you come up here at the plus button and then you choose this to the pink that you want that's if you don't want the default color and you don't have an option to put many palettes because you're on the free version now i'm gonna go back to choose my own colors so what i'm gonna do here now let me just go back because i've clicked a lot of things 
so i'm gonna choose one of my colors i'm gonna use this calm palette so the whole row is going to be one palette so i'm gonna use only these six colors so i'm gonna choose this blue so that's my planner so the color of the text i just click on it and then i come over here where there's a big letter a and then i can choose to change the color of my text so i'm gonna go with this color so that's the color of my text now i'm done with that so we have to think about what's going to be in our monthly budget planner there's got to be a month which this budget is for so we do have 12 months in a year so this is going to be a 12 page monthly budget so we have the income all the incomes that you receive so if you have six streams of income you have to put that income the date the name of the company which you receive that income from and the amount so this is going to help you to know all your total income and then we're going to go to expenses and also other expenses and maybe monthly goals so this is maybe what you're going to save on that month from here i'm going to do everything on a fast forward speed so you can just try to lower the speed here on youtube because everything is going to come from the top of my head so sometimes i'll have to fix some mistakes I am done with my first page and the rest of the page is like month one so we've got 12 months in a year so I'm gonna need to do 11 more copies so it's gonna look just the same as the first month I can only choose to change the colors like this color like this color over here but now to have those 12 pages I just have to duplicate this so that I have the same colors so on the pa on page two I can choose to change the color of this blue over here and I can click on blue and maybe change it to one of my palettes so I can choose to use maybe this brown which is for my text or I can use the green then this is for the other month so I'm gonna duplicate this maybe until I have five copies after duplicating it I've changed the colors of each and every month so this is the third month and the fourth month over here and also on the fifth month I still have to change the color I'm gonna change it to blue light blue oh I already have this let me change it to I have these two and this one let me try pink so, so i'm gonna leave it as pink so when you're done with this this is the first step this is the product but your customers are just going to access it from here but what you need to do you come over here at the top right corner and click the share button so here if you want your customers to be able to edit this maybe you want them to change the colors of the text or the lines or anything that you want them to edit you have to have a pro account but so now what i need to do is to come here at template link and copy it so i'm just going to click this link and copy it but where am i going to put it now i have to come over here at home on canva and create another design this design i can choose it i can choose any size that i want so this is the only document that i'm going to upload on etsy so the template that i created i do not send it over there by etsy i only send this document so let's use an a5 document so i'm just going to click over here and then it's going to take me here to this page so i can use the same colors that i use so i'm going to come over here my colors were on the calm palette so i can choose to have a background of pink over here and then i'm going to come over here to elements and i'm just going to choose a button something like a button similar to a button so i'm gonna wait for it to load and, and here i'm just trying to look for a button that's gonna show my customers to click so i'm gonna choose this one over here and then on this button i can write click here to access 
your planner the text is too small i'm gonna try to make it maybe 18 or 18 is still small 21 and then i'm gonna move these to be much bigger so this is and also this color i'm gonna choose to change the color of this button so i can choose again from my palette which is calm so i'm choosing this purple color and then the text over here i feel like white is okay so i'm gonna leave it as white but um i'm gonna leave it as white but i'm gonna change the size and also the font now the link that i copied this is the link where that i copied from my template this is the link so i'm gonna copy it and come over here and click and put it somewhere here so for me to be able to put it here i just have to come over here on these three dots so first thing to do is to click here and then click on these three dots at the top right corner and then click this link uh, link uh, icon then i click on it and then i paste the link that i got from my template which is the monthly budget planner and then i click enter then i have linked my product as, as you can see there's this line underneath it's linked so this is the document that i am going to upload on etsy i'm just gonna leave it as it is just for our example but you can write thank you for this purchase those are some of the things that you can add over here but let's just go ahead and download this so i'm gonna download this as a pdf not as a png like it's suggested here but a pdf so i'm gonna choose here pdf standard that's how i'm gonna choose to download this then i download this so now we need mockups of this product. This is just to show customers what the product looks like. Let's have a look at what other people who are selling on Etsy, how they have theirs. So on this one, as you can see, this is how their monthly budget looks like. So as a customer, you know that you are expecting something like this. So this is a mock-up. So let's do ours. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a third template. And this one is going to be a custom size so usually i choose 2000 by 2000 so i'm just going to click on 2000 so if you don't have it here you just create it over here you just type 2000 and also 2000 pixels over here now what i'm going to do is to just create that template and it's going to be a blank template so what i need over here i need to come back here to my template and download maybe three of my product or i can just download one of these and i just download Load it as a png so i just come over here and download so that i can use this image so that my customers know that their monthly budget looks like this so what i need to do is just come over here and choose only one page not all five but only one page click done and then i download it as a png i click download and again i upload it so that i will be able to access it when i come over here got my template over here which is for now it's only five pages but we're gonna need 12 to have all 12 months and i also got my link here that the customers will click on and get the template and i also have some mock-up image i only did one so what we need to do now is to go to etsy and list our product so, so after signing up with etsy you're gonna have your own dashboard where you can add a new listing and there's gonna be a whole lot of options like this so that's where you will be able to see if there are any sales and also you're just gonna have a whole dashboard and where you can have your analytics on how your shop is doing so the first thing to do is to add that mock-up image over here so i'm just going to quickly do that so while it's loading in this case i only have one image and we're just gonna work with this just for the sake of this video and it's also going to be the primary image which is the main image that the customers are going to see and then we're gonna move into a listing so if you have a video you can also put a video here and there's also the name of the product so this is where you can also have a look on your competitors to see how to put in the title who made it it's going to be you what is it it's a complete it's a finished product and when do you make it and when did you make it it's going to be the years that you made it so it's going to be between 2023 and 2020 it's automatic and it's also a digital product so i'm just walking you through 
or on how to do this listing in the description of the product you're gonna describe that this is a monthly budget planner is a canva editable or just downloadable printable copy and it's only a digital product so with digital products there are no returns and also you can also add the text that that's just gonna be the right keywords for your product and and after that you're gonna come over here to publish your listing so each time you make a sale you will pay for any sales for the fees that you're owing so not now you don't pay anything but as soon as you make your first sales that's when you're gonna pay listing fees and other transactional fees so that's how you do your monthly budget planner and list it on Etsy. With that, we have come to the end of our video and thank you so much for watching up to here. Thank you. Cheers.